Hiya, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So we continue our journey of hashtag Sarah Drives and for today's video, I included my siblings in it and my brother basically quizzed me on the rules of the road. Any bets on how well I did? Do you guys think I did well? Do you guys think I did pretty badly? I mean, hopefully not that bad, otherwise I'll never be able to get my license. You can pause the video and let me know in the comments down below. Make your bets. You guys better have big faith in me. Otherwise, I'm gonna make tampo. Aww. Tampo is a Tagalog I'm just gonna put what it means over here. <laughs> now, there are a lot of steps on how to get your driver's license in the Philippines. They basically need to know that you didn't learn how to drive playing cyberpunk. You can't do that. <laughs> Apparently. With that said, I'd like to thank GAC Motor Philippines and GAC Motor Pasig for lending me the GAC GS3. It's the car that I learned how to drive in. Now, before I introduce our special guest for today's uh, vlogging episode, I just want to talk about the GAC GS3 model. Um, first of all, I want to say that this baby is up for retail for only 1,058,000 pesos. So for an SUV, you get the best bang for your buck. Also, it has a gas turbo 6-speed A um, and GE. And then the drivability of this car is just superb. Actually, now that we mentioned that maybe I'm gonna drive around the block first so that I could show you guys just not that it's, it's advisable but how easy it is to drive considering that I am a total newbie I just honestly can't wait to get my driver's license because at 80s I'll be able to drive for myself now and I won't have to depend on ride uh, hailing services. I also love the engine of this uh, car because honestly, check this out. I'm gonna speed up a bit in this road. Don't worry, there's we don't really have cars here, but Did you guys hear that? It locked up on its own So I love how smooth the engine is and if you want to slow down a bit You just have to press ever so slightly on the gas and you're gonna be able to feel the brake. The revolution per minute of the car, which um, I think it's related to the speed of it, is it has a torque of 202 Nm, and you can go that fast by just maintaining the RPM of I think 1500 to 4200 RPM. So it's not bad. And if I'm gonna explain it to myself as if I'm a five-year-old, which believe me, I asked the people from GAC to explain. Um, Basically, this car can go really fast with a very smooth engine. I think the cylinder capacity or the engine displacement is uh, 1,325cc. So, I think the higher the better. But I'm not so sure. Maybe I'm not the, I'm not the girl to go to, especially when it comes to the engine of a car. But I do know one thing, that this car is fuel efficient. Okay, so since I'm gonna be um, showing you guys my editing skills by like putting some clips here, uh, part of the outer design that I love for this car are the eagle-like headlights that it has. So I just love the sleek design of it. Quick disclaimer, I filmed some parts of this vlog yesterday and I'm filming some of it today. Um, also for the tail light, um, it's like an infinity sign or like a horizontal H-shaped uh, tail light, which for me, I don't think I've ever seen a design like that with any other car and I don't know, I like the infinity sign. It kind of makes it very sentimental for me in particular. I also love the fact that the, um, what do you call this, the mirror, the side mirrors, they fold to the car when you lock your car and I have been showing you guys clips of that as well. But what really got me with the GAC GS3 is the interior. First of all, we have the safety features of the car, which basically we have airbags. Um, we also have the leatherette um, multifunctional steering wheel. Um, I guess I can show you some clips of what it would look like uh, right here. And then we also have a wide angle 180 degree rear view camera system. I would always look at the rear view um, camera system and I never thought I would be that type of girl. I thought I would be like a manual woman knowing how to drive her boss manual car. But you know what? Like I said, with how difficult life is, 
why would I make it even more difficult? So I'm really happy that we have a wide angle 180 degree rear view um, camera system. We also have six speakers in the car and apart from that, the touch screen where the rear view camera system is at, um, it's an HD full color 8 inch LED touch screen so I could just you know press on it get to the radio station that I want to get um, I could play music from my phone via the Bluetooth and I could also have an audio and video system from that as well however I don't think I'll really be using that that much considering that I'm the one who's gonna be driving and then we have the automatic climate control so right now I don't know if you guys can see but it's raining right now and well it's just I'm only wearing my contacts I'm not wearing my glasses and I thought it would be difficult driving with my contact lenses on because sometimes when you have contact lenses your contact lenses dry so easily but with this car maybe the climate control inside the car and the climate control outside of the car it's just really superb i feel relatively safe <laughs> driving under the rain we also have the engine start push button with passive entry passive start function and we have a very amazing, very superb, very top-notch sporty leather and fabric combination. Um, not just with the seats, but even with the side of the car, the interior, back seat, and even the front where the airbags are. And if you guys wanna know exactly what I'm talking about with the GAC GS3, go ahead and go to your nearest GAC dealership and go ahead and have a test drive now. I said go ahead way too many times. I'm sorry. Huh? Are you going to NEU 514? Uh-oh. Huh? Wait. Oh. Ah. Uh, Josh. Oi. Your brother. Bye. Ay, okay. Relax. Why are you acting? I'm going to eat. So, that's the script. That's the script. Bye. All right. So, okay guys, these are my siblings, Joshua and Chloe. And they're gonna join us as we kind of drive around the block a bit as I practice. You're gonna drive? You're gonna drive? Wow! You're gonna test drive? Uh-oh. Choke. You're gonna drive? Oh, you're gonna drive? I don't know if you're gonna drive. Why don't you drive? drive? Sabi mo ako stay lang tayo. No, we're gonna move around. Sandali so, yeah. magre-rebook na kami. Oy! Oy, <laughs> tumingin ka. Ah, oh, sige, hindi na makatingin na ako. Ayan. Okay. First rule, eye on the road all the time. <laughs> Surprise pala to. Teka. <clears throat> oh, ano? Okay, sige po. Thank ano? you. Ano? Hanggang dito na lang po. Oo <laughs> lang! Sinadya ko. Sinadya ko yun. Ano ba? Kasi, no, we're at the... To, no, kasi nasanan tayo! Bang. Meron. Meron. Ay wow. Hindi ibig sabihin kami, kami wala ito. Ah, kayo ba yung wala? Wala ka naman sa amin. Ginawa niyo na nga talaga akong driver eh. Nandito din siya talaga kayo sa likod eh, no? Go. Game ka na ba? Game na! Question number one. At an intersection with the traffic light, make a left turn only when okay letter a the left arrow green light is on letter b the red is on or where the red arrow is on or letter c the vehicles going straight have passed a a the left arrow green light is on final answer yes correct ah! okay, oh. okay, okay, okay. You know, that's it i can have my driver's license now <laughs> okay. Which of the following vehicle will use blue flashing light? A. Expressway maintenance. B. Bomb disposal. C. Police patrol. C. Police patrol. Police patrol. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. Immediately upon entering an expressway, you should normally letter A. Readjust your mirrors. Letter B, position your vehicle in the center lane. Or letter C, keep in the right lane. C. Final answer. Yeah, kasi kakapasok mo, pagpapasok ka right kayo. Nasa right kayo. Mm, correct! 
Hoy, in fairness, I really do not know any of these questions. I'll go. Uh, Which of the following is the maximum allowable speed uh, on open national highway? Letter A, 80 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, or 60 kilometers per hour? 60. 60, final answer? Yes. Ah! Oh my gosh, it just means I'm gonna be a super safe driver. <laughs> just... Alam mo, actually, hindi daw rin, hindi rin daw ganun. I, like if you're slower. Why? Oh, like because sometimes some people. Oh, the more you know. The more, you know, the more you know. Okay. All right. Chaka eight. Wait, so that's the right na ako, one wrong. Chaka okay. eight, di ba? Eight infinity. Ani na sa likod ng kotse mo. Ah, oh, oh nga. <laughs> okay, that's a good way to remember. Kaling talaga ng kapatid ko. Oh, isa pa. Come on, JC, give me some, give me some. <laughs> Before changing lanes in traffic, especially at night, okay. and when it is raining, aside from giving a signal and checking your side and rear view mirrors, what else do you need to do? Letter A, slightly turn your head to check other vehicles beside your car. Letter B, sound your horn. Or letter C, blink your headlight. Blink headlights, see. Blink your headlights. <gasps> Mali. No way! Really? Dito, slightly turn your head to check other vehicles beside your car. Oh! Asa titingin ka? Nakakaya ano? naman 60%? Pasang Pasang awa. Pa, okay, redeem pa sa hindi ko. In driving, the most important sense the driver needs is hearing, smelling, or seeing. Seeing. Why? Parang di ka sure. Cause it's sure ako seeing. Cause hindi ako pa din malat ano yun. Correct. Yeah, redemption. Okay. Sige, magdinner na muna tayo. So anyway, guys, um, I guess that's gonna be the end of my video for today. Okay, guys, joke lang. Hindi pa tapos ang vlog. Talaga. He did not put up a vlog because I wasn't really satisfied yesterday with the questions that my brother asked. Parang gusto ko patagdagan. Okay, so go. I'm ready. What are the next questions? Okay, eto kasi may picture. Okay. The area is a national speed limit zone. The area is hazardous and you must not overtake. Uh huh. Passing to the left or right is allowed provided that the way is clear. So, itong sign na to. Yung marking. I, I know this because I would see this in LA a lot. Um, you could, you could, uh, switch lanes. Uh, Tama? Tama. Ah! <laughs> oh, ito. Which of the following means you are on a one-way street? Um, so, may papakita akong pictures. A, B, or C. C. One-way street. C. Tama. Ah! Uh, six out of eight na tayo. Uh, sorry, okay. Miguel. Last two pa. Last two pa. Hindi, <laughs> baka okay na yung percentage mo doon. Hindi, sige. Pa. Hindi ko tinatanong kung anong sign yan. Okay. <laughs> Masyado <laughs> madali. Kala ko tinatanong mo kung that's a stop sign. It means you have to stop. Okay, good. But that's not the question. Okay. So, ang tanong ay, where do you see this sign? A. At an intersection. B. Before entering an expressway. Or C, before driving on a narrow street. A, intersection. Because there might be other cars that are gonna turn. Bakit hindi sa expressway? So, malig ba ako? Tama. <laughs> I think expressway, but yung sagot doon though, bonus, is express na. Express. express. <laughs> Last question, nako para. LTO, by the way, guys, all of our questions are LTO certified. Hmm, actually, first time ko tama kita. What does this That's sign? That's the first time I'm seeing that too. Hmm. So the so, show. Mo pang e bonus to. <laughs> Sige bonus lang to, ah, hindi to part. Okay. Ang sabi dito, A, A local, local speed limit applies. B, no waiting on the carriage. Wait, carriage. C, speed limit applies or speed. D restriction. Tingin ko B. Letter B. Ay hindi. It's C. 
Ay, ano yun? Go! Speed, speed limit applies. Or speed be restriction. I'm confused. Maybe we could do more. Maybe I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a definition of it here. Pero I've never really seen that. Okay, so bonus lang natin. Bonus lang yan. Hindi naman siya part of the quiz. Ayaw patala talaga. <laughs> when can you use your mobile phone while driving? Para ka. May choices ah, pa ba? <laughs> Meron. Uh, a. When receiving a call. B. When driving an automatic vehicle. C. When making an emergency call. I think the answer should be never. Okay. But Pero given the choices. Given the choices, when can I use? Because mm -hmm. honestly for me, I would just not use my phone in general. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for emergency. I'm gonna make an emergency. Okay. Like what? Like for example, like emergency. emergency. But like if I'm gonna be crashing, I'm not gonna be on my phone and say I'm crashing. I'm gonna try to stay alive. Or like, mga features na kasi yung car ngayon na you can receive a call na. Oh yeah, like not necessarily hold. I do. I can actually do that with my GS3 because I have a Bluetooth. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Go on. I think yun yung last. O, gusto mo pa ba ng question? Oh. Isa pang bonus. Wait, wait, I got that right, right? Yeah. So, I have 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. No, isa pa, one more, one more, one more. Isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Yeah, one more. <laughs> Student talaga. You feel drowsy while driving. Uh -huh. You should, A, stop and rest. Make sure you have a good supply of fresh air. B, close the car windows to help you concentrate. Or C, turn the air condition to keep you cool and calm. It's A, rest. That's what my dad will always do when he's sleepy. Yay! Rest. <laughs> Stop and rest! And there you guys have it. Honestly, I'm just so happy I finally learned how to drive now. And I learned how to drive in an SUV. I was intimidated when I heard that they were lending me the the JZ GS3 because I know SUVs are pretty big cars but it was really it was a very pleasant experience and for the next episode I finally drive for my family so that's gonna be fun it was I was I was sweating so hard when I was finally driving for my dad so tune in for that one I'll be posting it next month and yeah if you guys have any more questions uh, and are curious about the car that I drove you can visit the official website of GAC Motor Philippines and GAC Motor Pasig that's GACMotorPH.com so I guess that's all that I have to say of course don't forget to follow me on my Instagram hit the subscribe button and like this video so that I know what type of con content you guys like hearing or seeing from me and I'll see you guys next time Bye-bye!